All right, guys. Welcome back to the Direwolf 21.16 pack, guys. It's uh, it's kind of raining out today. It's a little sad, but uh, fear not. We still have the Christmas present chests because it was Christmas just yesterday in my time. So anyways, guys, hope you all are having a fantastic day. Last episode, we set up the Blaze Farm. You guys seem to really enjoy that. We did a little bit of stuff here with uh, Tetra, and I ended up dying and losing my pickaxe due to those little pickaxes hitting me. I guess they were vexes. Vexes, vex, however you say it, uh, but it ended up killing me and I lost it because it had Curse of Vanishing on it, which was unfortunate. So I went ahead and made this one up and we got Soulbound Efficiency Ford, not too good, but we're out of uh, Lapis. This is Pristine Lapis and I don't think I have any more anywhere else. So that leads us to a comment that I got last episode about the Flux Bore. Now this thing says it says, uh, it, says it uses Mines blocks using redstone flux. It says single block there. So what I'm hoping is that because it says single block, it could mean like more than a block. So this one's actually kind of easy to make. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and see if we can make this. Should be pretty simple. Gonna need some redstone. All right, tin gear, tin ingots. Oh, it's the tin. Might need copper. Might need lead. We got all the stuff. Okay. So, we got the drill head. All right. Oh, we need an iron ingot. Okay. All right. So, with two of those, we got the two ingots there. Or the those gears. The sky, we need to go ahead and get get some redstone. There we go. Bam, redstone and a gold gear. So now we should be able to make this guy. Yep, we sure did, very cool. All right, so do we have a GUI or anything like that? Um, it's from Thermal Series. Do we have a charger we can make? All right, so we're going to make the mechanism charge pad here. Oh, these are going to require a black stone. I don't know where that is yet, unfortunately. Um, time to do some exploring. Yay. All right, so we're here in the nether. If we look at our map here, here's our kind of uh, our bridge that kind of cuts through. Uh, the cool thing is, is I found all of this over here on the mini-map, so I just kind of tunneled over here and then over. And we got some blackstone right here that we're going to be able to make, or to, to collect. So, very cool. Alright, so we got a stack here. Now we're just going to go ahead and head our way back to the base so we can go ahead and craft up that charge pad. All right, so check it out, guys. Ancient debris, very cool. So now we have that black stone that we need in order to make... Oh, we need more. To make those plates, perfect. We're going to go ahead and put the black stone over here. So now we have it in case anything else needs it. All right, so all we need is the steel. Do we end up making any more steel? Nope, we sure didn't. That's okay. We should be able, since we switched over to blaze rods for power over here, uh, we should be able to, to use these guys no problem. Oh, so we still got some carbon here. Perfect. We're going to do 16. All 
All right, so with all that steel processed up, we should be more than good to go now. Um, so we're going to do two things here. For one, we're going to go ahead and make that trap I was telling you guys about. Uh, we're going to make most of the, the trap. Um, go like this. Yep, so we got this. All right, so we got, we got these guys for the blank patterns. We just need to kill a phantom. Uh, I'll go ahead and try to do that later, but let's go ahead and make this charge pad. Um, so we might need to come down here. Throw in two of these guys. Oleum, oleum, oleum. All right, so with two of these infused alloy, we now have the ability to make that battery, which is why we needed it. I do believe it just took two. Yes, perfect. All right, so that should be everything. Charge pad is ours. Perfect. So all we're going to do is just place this guy here like so. As you can see, this is going to get filled up. This is going to start using those blaze rods for power. And then, yep, we stand here. All right, so this has been charged up. Okay, do we click anything? Nope. Single block. Hmm. All right, guys, so I found out what to do. Good news. So you need to go ahead and craft up this thermalopedia. Uh, this is just their crescent hammer wrench. Very simple, just requires a little bit of iron. We go into here, I looked up the flex bore, and it says uses RF to mine stone and dirt type blocks effectively. It can be charged and augmented in the tinker's workbench. So that is what we are going to be doing next. Very simple to make here. I do have, I think, almost everything except the wood, and we need two redstone. Let's see here. We got the the two wood. Okay, should have everything to go ahead and craft this now. We're missing a crafting table. All right, there we go. All right, so this guy's gonna go here. This does require power, though. Hmm. Um. Should be a power tap right here. All right, so we're just going to put this guy in the ground right here. Yep, this thing's getting power. Perfect. All right, so throw this guy in here. Okay, so we have four different areas to put augments in. All right, now I do have... I did go ahead and make a crusher. To hopefully we can crush up the nickel. <laughs> I guess not. Try to make invar here. Range up augment. Let's try that. Any quartz, a stick, and this augment core. Oof, okay. So I'm going to need to grab some paper. All right. So we are going to need a little bit of redstone here. All right. Got that guy. Oof. We're going to have to use our pristine lapis here. That's kind of sad. Oh, well. All right. So we should be able to make this range add-on. Let's see if this can go into it. Okay. So just looking into the book here, this is actually what we need to go ahead and make. We need some tin, some iron... Okay, yeah, so those aren't the correct augments for it. I feel a little silly about that. Um, what was that called again? Enhancement. Yes, radial enhancement. Okay, so this is what we're making. All right, so we do need quite a bit more iron, which is good. We got a bunch. Okay, and there we go. Radial enhancement. Let's go ahead and throw this on it now. Okay, press V to change mode. Area 3x3. Three three. Oh, guys, 
This is it. This is what I wanted. Ah, uh, this feels amazing. Guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, whoever suggested the flux spore in the comment section, thank you so much. I'm probably going to enjoy this too much. Um, stabilized RF control, high flux RF control. Um, RF storage. All right, expanded RF coil. This will hold more power. That is super easy to make. All right, so with that made up here. All right, we can go ahead and put this on our tool as well. So get him in there. That ain't it. Now this holds 160,000 RF. Perfect. Uses, I don't know how much, but it, it's going to work exactly how I, I was hoping for it to work. All right, so then next in the book, we did the expanded RF coil. We're going to do the stabilized one now. All right, stabilized RF coil. Oh, it expanded out a lot more. Perfect. All right, and then for the last one, we're going to be doing the high flux to RF coil. Okay, now let's go put this on our tool. Bam, bam. All right, so now I guess it's time to go test it out. So let's go ahead and have some fun. You know what I mean? All right, guys, so we're down here in the mine. We're going to go ahead and test this bad boy out. Wow, okay. So 32. Okay, so it mines nine blocks for a thousand. Man, this is gonna be sweet. Can we do this? Oh, <gasps> we can. And it even mines dirt as well in the same method. Oh, this is great. This is exactly what we needed, guys. Oh, man, I'm excited. Now, I don't know if we're able to put any, like, like make it a hardened class tier one with like invar or something if you guys know let me know down in the comment section otherwise this is like perfectly fine for me look at that we just made all that silver back oh man now are there any backpacks in this there are common backpack uncommon rare epic okay so we do need some leather we need some die and some strength okay so that will definitely be something we want we also want to go ahead and upgrade it so that oh geez that's a lot of lava we're safe so yeah this is uh this has been amazing i feel like this is really going to help us um get a lot of materials so that we can go ahead and start producing more. look at that. we already got gold iron basically made everything back now the only thing i do want to go ahead and get is fortunate three on a pickaxe again because I did end up losing it. So I need to go ahead and find some lapis down here. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do a bunch of enchanting. I also need to work on getting my sword with looting, which would be amazing because we need to start killing some endermen. But check this out, guys. Like, this is exactly what I was hoping that it would be. 3x3 three three mining. You can basically just hold down, click. Look at that. Diamonds already. That's amazing. We, is it weird that, as of right now, lapis is more valuable than diamonds? I'm, I'm going to kind of leave these for now until I get Fortune 3 on a pickaxe. Because I'm, I'm really looking for some lapis. So anyways, guys, I'm going to do a lot more mining down here. Look at that. I already got coal, so we can charge it back up. I'm going to do a whole lot more mining, and then we will be back uh, once, we, once we have what we're doing for the second half of the episode. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and try to make the redstone furnace. Because it has the ability to turn four rotten flesh into one leather. Now, this doesn't work for anything other than the redstone furnace. So I wonder if this thing has some, like, special properties that we're not aware about. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and make this up today. Uh, so it is going to require some iron, like typically everything does in this pack. Um, yeah, so we're also going to get some tin. I put everything away I really shouldn't have. It's kind of inconvenient. So tin gear... Ah, so here we go, tin gear. Made this guy, very cool. Now we need some clay to go ahead and make that, but we're also gonna make the, the copper gears. We're gonna make everything but the, the, the two bricks. 
I probably should have made two of those. All right. All right, there we go. So we should have everything but the bricks. Let me see here. Yep, everything but the bricks. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, wait, do I have any clay? We do have clay. Check that out. Let's just get that smelted up. All right, so we oh, got the bricks all made up here. There we go. Bam, redstone furnace. I might be asking, you know, why are we doing this? Well, because we need some cool stuff. By the way, if you put wool into a crusher, it will give you what you need. So redstone furnace here. This is getting charged up. Let's grab that rotten zombie flesh. Actually, it's just, just, I actually think it's just called. I know I have some on me, but I want some more. I want to get all of the rotten flesh we got. <laughs> Alright, so that's all the rotten flesh we got here. Alright, redstone furnace, do your thing. Yep, there it is. Perfect. All we needed was two leather. Because I do have some more leather here. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and make the backpack. So what else do we need? We need a bone. Yep, there we go. All right, and then what else do we need? We need a chesticle. Oh, not a smart chest. There we go, common backpack. Okay, so this has got two in here. What does it take to upgrade it? Yellow dye. Hmm, and a block of gold. That's not too bad. Honestly, we could do that. Let's find some yellow dye. And then we might also spawn in a phantom. So we can slice his face. All right. We got some yellow flowers over there. Or just one, really. We're going to go get them. Phantoms. I got a brain. Hardly used right here. Come and get some. All right, we need one more. There we go. We got some over there. Come on, phantoms, don't you want to munch out of this brain? Come on. Ow. Hmm. No phantom, boys. That's sad. All right, so I got those dandelions here. We do have enough gold to make the second tier. This is going to really help when it comes to mining. All right, so here, one gold block. Boom. Boom. And then we just got to convert this guy into the yellow dye. And bam, got the uncommon backpack. Yes, another row. And then it looked like a little bit wider as well. And then diamonds in blue dye. So we need a total of 11 diamonds. We got 10. So we're not going to be able to make the rare backpack here. Auto pickup. How? Wait, how do you turn that on? Slightly better. It holds 33 different stacks. Backpack. Wait, do you just like... Oh! Look at that. Can you put it on your back? What kind of backpack doesn't go on your back? What about here? Chest, back, head, shoes, like boxing gloves. Okay, so the backpack really is just like a, like a block storage. I mean, I, I guess that's what we want, right? Let's go do some mining. All right, so we're going to go this way this time. Uh, well, this is where I was testing out the excavating, and it was kind of garbage. So don't don't use the excavating. The excavating sounds good theoretically, but it's kind of kind of heart garbage. Oh, my gosh. We got lapis right here. Are you kidding me? So what I was okay, now we can do enchants. Cool. I guess we'll finish off the episode with a few enchantments then. Look at that, guys. It just I wonder if you could have this. You okay, so you actually can filter it. Checks out whitelist. So say you only want like cobblestone, stuff like that going in there. That's what you could set it to. That is cool. 
This is how we're going to get so many ores, guys. I'm so excited. We're really going to step up our game. Look, we got a geode, too. Lots of coal. All right. So we got the lapis we wanted. Let's go ahead and do some enchanting. All right, so we're going to need to do some enchanting here. I did look up the the specifics for the phantom spawning, and we need to have, I think it's at least three days um, of non-sleeping. So, yeah, going to be working on not sleeping. So while I do that, I'm going to be over at the Blaze Farm uh, slicing up some fool so we can enchant. Yeah, we got Excavate on there. I really wanted it because I, I thought the Excavate was going to work how... Um, how that, ooh. It's gonna work how this uh, this drill works, uh, but unfortunately it does not. So, yep, we're just gonna go AFK here, gonna be slashing these guys every once in a while, and then I'll come back basically in about an hour or something like that. We'll, we'll kill a phantom and make the, the player trap so I can AFK here for levels, and then we'll go ahead and make get the Fortune 3 enchant. So it should be pretty cool. All right, guys, so we got 34 levels here, so we're going to go ahead and grab that. And just in case our first enchant is bad, we do have enough to make a second one. So if this is four, what do we get? Uh, growth three. What does growth do? Um, crops near or grow nearby crops while help. Yeah, that's not good. All right, come on, let's get a good one here. Efficiency four. Ah, just efficiency four. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and kill some more of those guys, and then we'll come back when we got more. Let's see if we get a, a good one. Hey, guys, we got our first phantom here. We're going to go ahead and see if we can mess this guy up. Oh, I don't know how that did, didn't hit him. What we're going to try to do here is we're going to kind of circle around him. Gosh, how is that second one missing? That doesn't make any sense. Unless he's got a cheaty cooldown. No. Alright, let's see if we can bait him. Sprint over. Yes! We got it! <gasps> Guys, we got our own phantom membrane. We can make that AFK thing! I'm excited. I'm really excited. All right, guys, so let's go ahead here. We're going to grab three of the, these guys. Two diamonds for the sword. All right. So if we come over here, player trap. Yep, we just got to convert these guys into cyan and bam. Oh, man, got the player damage trap. So to get a phantom to spawn, guys, you just don't sleep for three Minecraft days, and they normally spawn in pretty quickly. So, yeah, let's go ahead, place this guy here, and let's watch. Yep, here they come. And we got experience for that. And it does it quick, too, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So I'm going to go AFK here for a while, guys. Collect a bunch of experience. Uh, actually, no. I'm not going to go AFK here for a second. I want to show you guys something. We need to get a magnet. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a magnet here to go ahead and collect those drops for us. Uh, the magnet is super simple. If we go over here, this one just it just requires power. Uh, but it's very basic, and I like it, so we're going to make it. All right. And magnets are Perfect. So we come over here, charge it up. And we're good. Yep. Wow, that, that drained a lot of power. But uh, we hit V here, and the auto-attract is enabled. And the cool thing is... Now, we just go AFK, get some levels, have a good time. So, going to get my backpack. Put those blocks here. And as you can see, already level 30. So, I'm going to go AFK here for a while, guys. I hope you all have a good one. Actually, I don't know why I say have it. Forget it. 
Alright guys, so I've been AFK here for a while, and as you can see, we are definitely getting all of the levels we could ever really want. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it goes into our bag, it just goes into our inventory, which isn't, I don't really care about. But we got a whole bunch of blaze rods now, which means that we can go ahead and keep filling up our fuel. Our fuel. Uh, yeah, we're using the, the blaze rods as fuel right now. Uh, pretty awesome. I'm definitely liking it. Plus, these guys give us a whole bunch of blaze rods, too. But let's go ahead, get some enchanting. We need some fortune on our pickaxe. That's not going to cut it. All right, let's try again. Fortune 3, soul bound, efficiency 4. That will work for me. Now, I think it would actually just be a better idea to craft up another sword. Yeah, I'm just going to craft up a second sword here because this one has seen better days. Okay. Let's go ahead and chant this bad boy up. Smite, not good. All right. Leech. Nope, don't want that. Unbreaking. Nope. Sweeping edge wouldn't be a bad idea. Vigilant. Nope. Ender disruptor. Looting too. Ooh. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. I would really have liked to get... Um, You know, the thing. Anyway, so uh, that is going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. We got the magnet. We got the drill. We got the backpack. We even got a charge mat here to charge up all of our items. So I'm super excited about that. The next few episodes, guys, we're really going to be getting into some tech. So I do hope you stay tuned. But we got the miners essentials today. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of mining off camera. Uh, and then now that I have fortune, I'm going to be able to... Uh, go get those diamonds that we found before. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.